She's a tornado. She's unstoppable. And when you're with her, you get this energy. It really does transfer. She's really clearly very impressive. And also on top of it, she's curious. Finally met Pearl and we just immediately bonded. She's beautiful, she's tiny, she has beautiful skin and this amazing purple hair, which must take her five hours to fix in the morning. We just hit it off immediately and then I told her about my interest in China. We get on straight away. Art, culture ties people together. As soon as you're passionate about it, it ties you together. I want to show artists who has not been accepted or celebrated in the West because the West did not understand these artists. She wanted to show what Chinese tradition was about so that people understand where Chinese art is coming from. In order for the West to understand China, culture is the first point of view. For me, I'm using art as a medium to communicate. Sydney actually believes and share this point of view of, of mine. And even though we have a very different way of looking at art. So it was great. We stayed in her building on Hengshang Road and went to the World's Fair, met a lot of artists. And then we went to trips together in China, visiting artist studios. We go to studios, we've had several junkets in Beijing where we went, visited 15 artist studios. I mean, it was like a two or three day thing. We get in a minibus at 8.30 in the morning with Diet Cokes or something. And then we go from one end of Beijing to the other and visit artists in the studios, which are often not heated. So every time I gave her files inside a car to read about the artist before we go to see the artist, right? Well, in Beijing, we went east, west, north, south on the ten ring roads around, so they're all over the place. Visiting artist studios, you see how they create the works. You talk to them, creating the works is very interesting. Every artist has a different way of working. Pearl has a real affinity with artists, but the artists also attach themselves to Pearl, and they will do almost anything for her. Every time after the artist studios, we chat, we talk, and then she would talk to the, to the artist, inspiring them, and I see how she react and how she talks to the artist. I was touched. I'm still very touched. I'm still very impressed. We always have to remember finance, economy, and a culture always hold hand in hand together. And economy started to grow when you have open doors, when your political situation is more stable, is more afferent. You're doing trading with international countries. So when all these countries go in, into China, next thing that they bring is the Western collectors going in, buying art, collecting art. When I'm desperate, I call her. And I say, will you write an essay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, she's always helping because I always like a second point of view on many issues, especially relating to the art world. I do, you know, occasionally write articles for her and uh, help her out with that or introduce her to people. I do anything for Pearl, basically. She's a great collaborator because she can communicate. She tells other art people. She tells the curators, she tells other people. We should not just have one track in mind, you know, you should look at different aspect. I would always work with Sydney again and again and again. The future for me is, will always be Pearl as long as we, the two of us are standing and our curiosity still stands and I'm sure we'll do things together. We always have something, some junket plan. The friendship that we have built, incredible. The, I mean, I learned from her a lot. She's one of the most interesting people I've ever met. And I have met a few.